Bryce Brown and I am the director of the Integrated Learning Annex, uh, as we like to call it, TILA. Um, many of you know me to be the uh, vice president, uh, business executive of the Southern California Neuropsychology Group. And as I have been saying the last few months, uh, TILA is our uh, learning division. And so we've called it a couple of different things because we do do research out of here. We, uh, uh, we do a whole host of different types of learning experiences. Um, and so, you know, all types of projects come out of TILA. And really quickly, I wanted to introduce you to what exactly TILA does and who would be involved in it. And um, I first want to start with, with what, it, what brought me here. And my competency, my, my expertise, as it were, happens to be more in business and management than it is in clinical science. And so when I got here, I wanted to learn psychology because I realized that most of my life was spent managing mentalities. And when you're managing mentality, you are managing perceptions, you're managing emotionality, uh, you're managing people's um, uh, just natural abilities, and then of course you're trying to, to motivate and, and do a whole host of other things. And so the last few months I said, well, what can I do in order to intellectually contribute uh, back to this place? And it took me to contemporary leadership, many of which you guys uh, gave me some fantastic feedback. I took contemporary leadership and I expanded upon it um, to, to be more relevant to a number of different uh, practices of management. And I came up with what's known as the Brown Model of Organizational Development. And the Brown Model is a matrix that can be read a number of different ways. The first way that it can be read, and that's honestly how I first conceived it, is that there are six dimensions. Leadership, critical skills, social complexity, performance, productivity, economic opportunity, and social cohesion. And when you read these, the six dimensions give rise to what are nine uh, uh, cells, or we'll call them intersections, so literally where they line up. So if you recall back in the day, you know, A1 would be facilitation, A2, uh, excuse me, B1 would be solution accuracy, uh, A2 would be organic growth, and so on. And as I'm constructing this, I then started to realize that one of the other ways that you could read it wa was across the rows. And so what you get is here, at the performance level, you get what I know to be organizational design. When I'm going in and I'm working with companies, I'm generally trying to, to, to create leaders that can facilitate the exchange of information, which is motivation, inspiration, uh, um, uh, giving guidance and direction. Solution accuracy, that means that when somebody's trying to problem solve, the, the, the responses they're coming up with are actually um, reflective of what an organization needs. And then when you're looking at social complexity, you're getting system solutions. So you're not getting one person's opinion as much as you're leveraging an entire network in order to come up with a better solution to problems. The second, you know, let me change pen, my pen color, is organizational development. So we're talking about development. Now we're saying, okay, now whereas performance and productivity might be looking at how uh, uh, groups are designed and how they're structured, organizational development looks at how they can grow, especially as it pertains to financial value. And so you get organic growth, uh, which is where your leaders can help spot opportunities. Then you're looking at critical skills and economic opportunity where you're able to build strategies that actually work in the marketplace, not just for your company, but for the, be uh, the betterment of a society. And then you can, are able to look at social complexity and economic opportunity, which is where you are leveraging the value of diversity. And that's a big one. The last is social cohesion which gives rise to critical citizenship. How can I be a better citizen to my company, to my community, and ultimately to my society? So that, was, that represents a second way of, of reading this matrix. And the third way, and probably my favorite, is with two concepts that I, I, I introduced early this year, um, and that's endonomics and exonomics. Endonomics are the law of within, exonomics are the law of without. So what that means is when you're looking at an, an endonomical uh, breakdown of your company, you're looking at everything that defines the internal structure of it, okay? And then when you're looking at exonomics, you're looking at everything that defines how you perceive and interact with the outside world. 
So with that stated, what I came to realize is that when you're trying to capture value in the marketplace, you are, you are pursuing the exonomics. So this black box right here is the only place where exonomics, as far as I'm concerned, that I will go in and do any work when we're trying to capture value in the marketplace. Blue oceans mean that we're not trying to compete as much as we're trying to innovate. Endonomics represents what's happening within your organization. So it's these sort of, this horseshoe right here. Um, this represents an endonomics of your company or organization. So exonomics are this black box, endonomics are the horseshoe. So how does this actually turn into practical, useful information for your, you, your, your, your kids, or whoever's working with me? Because I, I have a number of different populations that I'm interested in working with. I accomplished this th th through a number of different ways. Number one, we bought this board specifically for us to be able to work with a number of different types of people without them having to physically come into our space. This board is um, um, it's, uh, interactive, so you're able to, to actually interface with it from your iPad, from your phone, uh, from any sort of tablet, from your laptop, from your desktop computer, from house, from your job, that, things of that nature. And then also we would invite you to come in and, and actually work with us in person. But these nine cells or three modules or two conceptual um, uh, considerations turn into what we know to be organizational performance. And we do it by targeting two different cons considerations of your company, your leadership and your talent. Now leadership of course is a part of your talent, but you know what I mean. You have your management and you have your employees. Each one of these affects those two different considerations differently. And even if we were going to go do more of a civic uh, leadership point of, point of view, where we're looking at maybe the political structure or um, uh, your, 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 your uh, uh, elected officials, the same thing stands. When you're talking about the talent of a community or the talent of a, of a region, you're still talking about endonomics and exonomics. And if you're talking about the talent of your company, you're still talking about endonomics and exonomics. So regardless of who we're working with, the concepts become universal. You still need to have functional leadership. You still need to have a, a, a very, very attuned critical skills. And my critical skills take into consideration the different ways that people actually form mentality. That's why I came to SoCal Neuropsych to learn. Social complexity, because that's a component that unfortunately we're now as a society starting to embrace but for the most part we're still lagging behind we don't know how to leverage diversity to the best of our uh, best of our abilities we know how we like to do things we know how our history has taught us how to do things we know how our parents taught us how to do things or how our school taught us how to do something but we honestly don't know how to leverage when somebody else sounds acts has been through a fundamentally different uh, experience than we have and then how do these things go into performance Leadership, of course, that's easy. You have good leaders, you perform better. Critical skills, easy. Again, when you have uh, att attuned abilities to problem solve and problem frame and, and communicate and synthesize and do all those kind of good things, your, your, your performance goes up. Social complexity, when you're able to leverage your diversity, organizational or community uh, uh, performance goes up. Economic opportunity, again, these represent ways for us to build uh, a value leveraging these things that should be uh, extant within our company. Social cohesion, again, is the same way. You have people who are engaged, you have corporate stewardship. When you have people who are understanding, you have conflict prevention, not resolution. And then when you have cohesion and complexity coming together, you have what we know to be a high quality system or the appropriate leveraging of diversity. So all of these come together to create what I know to be an organization that's developing in the appropriate trajectory for our current society. This isn't, this isn't, uh, you know, 2000, excuse me, this isn't 1980s, this isn't 1990s, this is 2016 and what it means to run an effective organization today. Uh, what does it mean to motivate your talent today? What does it mean to integrate across competencies today? What does it mean to integrate across histories today? Very, very complicated and multivariable uh, uh, considerations, but at the end of the day, when you're a manager that's able to get this under your belt, when you're an employee that's able to get this under your belt, boom, you are rocking and rolling uh, with the best of them. So with that stated, I welcome you to join in on 
what's known as integrated strategy and management. That's my module, Attila. Uh, there's a number of different ways that you can get involved. There are physical spaces where you can literally come in on a weekly basis and, and, and work on these with me. We have e-solutions, which are like webinars or web conferences uh, that will be forthcoming in the next two weeks. Again, that's another way for you to get involved with what we have going on. And then there are one-on-one -on -one where you, can, you and I can meet one-on-one, -on -one, whether it's on Skype, uh, we have our own in-house uh, conferencing software, uh, and you can work on me with, on an hourly basis, and we can go over what this means for your organization. Those three ways, physical, uh, an e-solution, or a one-on-one -on -one session, are still going to touch on the specifics of your company, the, of your organization, of your community, your goals, uh, your aspirations, your, your concerns. And we will be able to come up with something that works tailor fit for you. Um, I created this specifically to work with humans uh, and, and how their systems come together. And so this, this grid is as flexible and it is as universal as one can possibly make it. Uh, because while I'm not giving you a whole bunch of technical skills in terms of how to literally do your job better, I'm giving you all of the glue uh, that, will, that will make your, your job, your company, your, your organizational unit, your team, your department, whatever the situation may be, your project uh, come together in a way that's going to kind of blow your mind. So. With that stated, I invite you to reach out to me. My email address is Bryce at Integrated Annex com. Okay? And so you guys don't have to deal with my horrendous writing. I will give you Bryce at integratedannex.com. Okay, that's really a lot like that. And you can feel free to shoot me an email. Let's set up something. We can work, I can work with as many as 150 people at a time if we're doing an e-solution. Or if you're in person, we can work eight at a time. Or I can actually travel out to you guys and we can work that way as well. Um, Dr. Conover's program is going to be coming about in the next couple of weeks, so look out for that over the summer. And uh, with that stated, I really look forward to hearing back from all you guys because this is huge for me. This is really a, a kind of a jump start into the things that I've really wanted to do for about a year now. Um, this is me taking the stuff that I've been doing in Long Beach with the school systems. We now have a partnership with LAUSD. So this is my work amplified, and, and both amplified and tailored uh, to a business setting, which is, of course, uh, my core competence. So with that stated, again, thank you so much. I look forward to hearing from you. Bryce at integratedannex.com. Shoot me an email, drop me a line, and let's get rocking.